In our last video, we have discussed the structures and nesting structures. Okay, and in this video, we will study about the new concept that is called pointers. To understand the concept of memory addressing, how the variable is accessing the values from the memory address, and can we uh, accessing the values from the memory address? or through the memory address can we access the values can we do the manipulations of the values through the memory addresses this type of concept we can easily understand with the help of pointers i am dr shriyash atri and these are the good engineering books from the s chan publishing pointer is a variable that contains the memory location of another variable as a value okay so what does it mean if i say int x is equal to 5 okay so in the memory uh, in the memory let's have a pictorial representation of this this is x variable having the value 5 and let's have this is having a random address is 1010 this value is having random address 1010 now i need to save the memory location of this in some another variable how we can do it we can do with the help of pointers so how to declare the pointers the pointer is always declared with a sign that is int ptr is a name of a variable okay this is a simple variable now if we want to make this variable of pointer type we need to write the star before that now this particular variable ptr becomes the pointer type variable now this variable will save only the memory locations of or memory addresses of some another variable like if i say ptr is equal to 5 kindly note note it down what i am writing right now and ptr is equal to x and ptr is equal to m percent x okay and this is the pictorial representation of ptr as per the definition of a pointer pointer says pointer is a variable that contains the memory location of another variable if i assign 5 to the ptr this ptr is of integer type now 5 is a variable uh, that is a value not the location okay so this is wrong statement we can't assign the value to the ptr pointer type variable if i say x to the ptr okay x equal to 5 again x is a value okay we can't save the value in the pointer type variable so this statement is wrong now m percent x m percent x is assigned to the ptr what is the meaning of m percent x m percent m percent means address or location of this variable so m percent x is this is what m percent x and this is the address of this particular variable so we are assigning this into the ptr so this statement is correct and ptr the value of ptr is 1010 and this ptr variable which is of pointer type is having its own address as well let's its own address is 5555 okay this is the simple concept of picked up or pictorial representation of this definition that the pointer is a variable that contains memory location of another variable i hope this concept is clear to you whenever you want to declare a variable which is of pointer type just write the name of a variable 
and before that just put the star marks okay so this becomes the pointer type variable now we will study about the pointer arithmetic how to do the arithmetic operations in the pointer so for before starting the pointer arithmetic first we must understand a one point or we must remember the one point that is data type of a pointer variable and the variable whose address it is going to store must be of same type now what does it mean what this definition says if i say int x okay float y char ch okay and now i am writing here int i am declaring a pointer star p x float star p y char star p c h this is p y star p y star p x and star p c h so this is a variable simple variable which is of integer type y float type c h character type and these three are the different variables or different data type but these are the pointer type star p x star p y and star p c h okay int float and char now what this uh, point or definition says data type of a pointer variable and the variable whose address it is going to store must be of same type so if i say p x because it is going to save the address of one variable if i say p x is m percent y and p y is m percent p c h and p c h is m percent x it is not p c h it is only c h now you can under see here p x is of integer type and this y is of float type so we we can't assign the address of float type to the integer type pointer okay this is not done similarly m percent ch which is of character type and this py is of float type so we can't assign the address of character variable to the float pointer similarly this is integer type variable and the address of this integer type variable can't be saved or can't be assigned to the character type pointer okay so that's why it is saying the data type of a pointer variable and the variable whose address it is going to store must be of same type if it is px then my value should be here m percent x if it is py my value should be here m percent y if it is pch my value should be m percent ch okay so address of m percent x m percent y and m percent ch will be assigned to the px py pch respectively okay so this if you follow this particular rule then we are going to understand the concept of pointer arithmetic so let's do the pointer arithmetic i am writing a one program the sum of two numbers with the help of pointers initially we have already done the sum of two numbers using the values but here we will on we will uh, understand the concept of pointers using the sum of two numbers using the pointers okay so let's begin with the program main i am starting from the main i am declaring the variables int 
x and comma star p x okay similarly int phi comma star p y both are of integer type okay so with the help of scan f statement we are inserting the values of x and y okay now we are assigning the address of this variable x and y to the pointer type variable so we are we can write like that px is equal to ampersand x and py is equal to ampersand y so in pictorial representation we can say like that this is x this is y so the value of x and y we have inserted this is 5 this is 6 and this is having the address 1010 this is having the address 2020 and we are assigning m percent x to the variable px so this is let's suppose p x and the value of the p x is 1 0 1 0 and this is the variable p y and the value of the variable p y is 2 0 2 0 okay we can write like that to make you more understand and standable this is m percent x and this is m percent y okay m percent x means the value the address of this location m percent y means the address of this location now after this we need to do the sum of these two numbers using the pointers not using the directly x and y okay so let me declare a one variable which is of some type because my uh, answer will be of integer type so i will make a one variable let me declare the one variable here int sum okay now sum i need to sum the values of x and y but not using the variables but using the pointers so how to access the values if i say px plus py okay so what does it mean the value of px is 1010 and the value of py is 2020 but we need to do the sum of 5 and 6 okay but here it is doing 1010 and 2020 so this is incorrect statement so how to do that for that if we want to access the value of this particular location i am again repeating if we want to access the value of this location what we need to do we need to do the dereference of this particular address okay that means value at a address to do the value at this particular address okay for that what we need to do we need to put the star here again if i say value at this address okay this is star this is star p x and star p y now what does it mean if i write star p x here and star p y here here star p x is this p x is a variable of pointer type okay and star p x means we are dereferencing the, the value we are dereferencing the address here okay we can or more easily you can easily able to understand star p x if i say this star the value of p x is m percent x plus star m percent y okay 
can you take this statement as a exceptional statement i am just writing this to make you understand so what happen here this is called the dereferencing of the address so this is the address and this star will dereference this address okay let me dereference means i am cutting it now what is the remaining part this x is the remaining and y is the remaining so what is the value of x the value of x is 5 plus and the value of y is 6 so finally my 11 will be assigned to the variable sum and here we will print that sum is percentage d comma sum okay kindly note this particular statement i have written just to make you understand the concept of star px and star py don't implement this statement while writing the program okay this is a simplified version of this statement just to make you understand so star px that means d reference so d reference the meaning of d reference is it is refer to the value uh, it is refer to the value of a variable to which it points okay so this is the address star px means d referencing this address and the value at this address will be printed here or will be considered here so this is all about the pointer arithmetic i hope this uh, this is clear to you again i am before ending this video i am again explaining you don't write this particular statement while writing the program by while, uh, while executing the program this statement i have written just to make you understand the meaning of star px and star py i am again writing here x m percent x plus star m percent y okay d referencing means it will cancel out each other and the remaining part is x and y so 5 and 6 will remain and it will sum and save the value here so students this was all about the introduction of pointer and the pointer arithmetic in in our part 2 we will study more about the pointers and we will more understand the concepts of pointers these are the good engineering books from the s chand publishing i hope you are liking the videos so please do subscribe like and copyright holder